Hello and welcome back to Judgment. So, Armin is a smart guy and everybody else has to go on a bloody mission. Very damn soon. We're waiting for Marta to heal up. It should happen soon. Right? Marta? I think she has fast healing now. She's definitely healing, okay. Maybe it takes some time to uh, start healing. Now, what kind of resources we want? Scraps, drinking water, salad, ah, clay. None of these are really that exciting. <clears throat> That's a bit annoying. Uh, but let's just head out. Maybe we're gonna find something. Like some scrap over here. Like this sh looks like a doable mission. <clears throat> and a lot of factories over here. Not sure we got what we're gonna get, but... Whoa, Marta! What the hell? How did she take so much damage? Clay... Okay, I'm just gonna have to fight myself. What's wrong? Why am I taking so much damage? <laughs> Is the auto-resolve dumb as hell? Or... Uh, is that really a very tough fight? And I should not be doing that. Let's see. Apparently that's a good cover. Oh, they're coming. Fire. No, 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 no. Stop. Is there a way to make them stop? Go. No. Just fire. Marta, you gotta tank this. Okay, <clears throat> so far, no damage taken. But that was only part of the group. Yeah, there's the other group. Did not spot us yet. Oh, they're coming. That's it. Yeah, that that turned out a lot better. <sighs> I wish I could uh, change the strength of the auto resolve, so it does. Uh, a better job. Like that's two minor demons. Come on, don't mess it up. Okay, that was that was okay. Maybe that was just a really a lucky one. Again, two minor demons, an imp, three fire imps. It's easy peasy. We're gonna take that out. What the hell, Marta? Well, at least she's not dead, but I think it's time to go back home at this point. Alright, what's going on over here? Not much. We have food for two days, so that's nice. Or maybe we're gonna make some uh, room by cutting out all these trees. Thirteen clay. Leather vest. Scrap armor. Wool. But I don't have wool. Sheep farm. <clears throat> I don't have bricks. Yeah, I want to build a house. A log cabin. Oh, we can actually save somebody. Great. Uh... Why do I want to build a house, though? <laughs> um... This is not really ideal. 
Well, I can build it there. Well, I'm not gonna build it there. That would be just way too disruptive. Uh, kind of the same thing. Do I want to build it there? I don't know. Kind of don't. Really don't more like it. I can build it there. It's like, really? I guess it has to be there. Okay, anyhow. Whoa, Grace leveled up. Uh, better marksmanship? Sure. Oh, uh, we can't get better with bows, so might as well just uh, get better with uh, just marksmanship. Wait. There's no more level ups. Uh, and we can just build some things uh, that I need a house for. But, first of all, we need to grab the beggars and save this person. Send rescue team right away because if we can get somebody who is not completely useless back at home that would be amazing uh oh A lot of dead people. But, oh, that's actually a really good cover. But it's kind of hard to use it because uh, the characters take up such a big space. Okay. Okay. I definitely prefer uh, having a bunch of range characters. Timmy, I hope you're ready to leave. He's a defender. God damn it. <laughs> That's a fighter again. Oh boy. Let's go. After this, we might as well just go home. Uh, yeah, we're going back home. And, uh, Timmy, the new guy, let's see what he can do. He can do a damn thing. He is a medic. He's... He can heal allies, but that only rec uh, restores temporary health. He's also a defender. Evasion, melee defense... Heals faster. Maybe that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have another melee guy in the team, and it's gotta be Timmy. Uh, he can have a quarter staff. I'm not sure what else, what he's gonna focus on while he's here. Train combat skill, preferred by fighter and defender. <clears throat> uh, how about the, just do some farming and cutting trees? Uh, maybe that. Training combat skill, uh, that's okay, I guess. <clears throat> when team beggars is away from your base, they suddenly find themselves facing a group of demons. Both groups seem just as surprised to see the other, but quickly overcome their surprise. The demons roar as your team prepares to repel the attack. That was it. Well, they're going... Well, at least it was a small team. Reapers and Hellhounds. Hides. I could really use some hides. Okay. Oh, who leveled up? No, yeah. Cultist. Dark weapons or archery. But well, it's gotta be archery. <clears throat> well. I have two options. Either I make her a uh, uh, occultist researcher back at home, or an archer 
who's part of the team. I think we need an archer. But I suppose when you're back home, you can do the occultist research. First of all. <clears throat> Wait a second, who's building? Uh, that should be built. Wheat farm. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, not a lot of wheat. Not a lot of veggies. And overall, not a lot of food. <clears throat> okay. Let's get more wheat farms. And Armand leveled up again. Research, work speed, global work speed. Or he can equip, equip rare tech armor and rare tech weapons. I think we just gotta go for the global work speed. So, how fast he researches? 210%. <clears throat> Insane. Anyway, uh, occult library? Sure, why not? What else we got? Extreme temperatures allow the work of, yeah, raw hours, whatever. Let's put it there. And uh, I can't build a stove. Oh, they're coming my way. <clears throat> Enemies are almost upon me. Can I build a reinforced outfit? Or just craft one? No wooden shield, but it would give me evasion. And keep in mind, this is not a flat bonus, but it actually modifies your value. So if you have like 20% evasion, you only get 3%. And base, it modifies the base evasion. Uh, I guess that's what I got. Yeah, we're getting attacked from two sides. Come on, show them what you can do, Timmy. Without actually taking way too much damage. Yeah, that's right, Dormant. Punch him real hard. We got some hides? That's actually good news, because that allows me to make some shields, perhaps? I can make two shields. If I get some boards. That I definitely plan to get. <clears throat> can we find some boards? I'm definitely making some boards right now. Because I would like to get some shields before we head out. <clears throat> yeah. I don't have a lot of wood. Hopefully that's gonna change. Still getting clay. I have way too much clay, right? Grace, uh, you wanna switch to... Cutting wood instead? No, actually she has an advantage. Uh, Timmy. I'm gonna cut wood. I don't have to farm. Okay, let's make two wooden shields for our melee characters, Martha and Timmy. <clears throat> so Martha can equip that? No. We, we made something else. No, we're making it right now. Crafting wooden, the wooden shield. Uh, it could be useful. 
Actually, we have something else we can make as well from leather. Like leather vest uh, or hides. Leather vest. From six hides, we can make a... Uh... Also, we got some other armor here, like scrap armor. Woolen scraps. Six, 85 base health and 20 evasion. Some armor. This is uh, more evasion, but more health as well. Okay, I guess I can pick that up. I need to go animal raising first. <clears throat> Witchcraft. It must be while you can't see any uh, visible change. The air suddenly feels dense and suffocating. Breathing becomes a chore. Working becomes torture. Everyone seems affected by this strange sensation. Will this feeling ever go away? Well, hopefully yes. Food is running out, watering is running out, and the work speed is lower. Damn. Animal raising and leather working. I'm trying to do my best here. library I think we just need to go and get some food what what kind of farm is that clay and arrows okay we can go and get some salad salad Beggars, you ready? You like some salads? Uh, the farther away we go from the base. <gasps> no! Actually, I ma messed up. Team is not part of the team. Ooh, Mart took some damage. It's not even a lot of salad. Let's go back home. And we gotta add Timmy to the team. Okay. Wait. Also, I need the shields. How am I doing with the shields? Marta? We have two shields. So this allows me... To have... 20, a little bit over 20% evasion, uh, which is not too great. And the team probably should still head out. Industrial. Let's see, food. Wait, what? No, search for items. Veggies are over there. Salad is over there, so food is generally on the right side. Hides are on the top. Water is a little bit all around the place. Is this a hard place to hit? No, not really. I just scavenge there. I can't catch a break. I can't find the guy who's uh, good at uh, just staying back at home. And getting me some food. What? How is he not a part of the team again? Oh no, we're gonna we're about to get attacked as well. Okay, never mind this whole uh running around doing nothing thing. Uh wait, why why was he not part of the team? Did I reach a, a certain size? Okay, thanks for that. Timmy? I don't know. He can be part of the team. I just messed up. Anyway. <clears throat> I guess at least we are ready for the assault. You're being attacked. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hellhounds at the top. Oh, 
Uh, it's a pretty mixed team. Oh. Leanne, run! No! Marta, you gotta run away. You took way too much damage. Armand, don't die. Wow. Well, I guess Leanne is dead. Well, that's not the best. I got two melee fighters now. Armand is still alive. Cook? I can't cook the elixir. While the source of the curse is still unknown, your occultists have devised a way to protect your camp from its effects. An elixir made of special herbs cooked in sulfur scented fire. I don't have ectoplasm. So, that's not really relevant. Okay. Abundant. Yeah. Someone's gotta do it. You know what, Timmy? I, I got just a thing for you. You're gonna get water. And yeah, get a limit's 50. Now someone has to. I get pretty unlucky with my guys. They're all good for fighting. Except Armin, who's just only good for research. If I get like a farmer, like we are basically done. Like what one like uh one who like gathers uh stone and, and wood and one farmer and we're, we're definitely good. So I managed to get some uh, research points here. Which is Bane. Resin, ectoplasm, and wool. Demon origins. Locate Master Eder Shrine in the southeast. <clears throat> Your research concluded that these creatures arise from a place that can only be described as hell. And they must be mythological demons referred to in religion literature. Additionally, your research has discovered mention of a large and particularly fearsome beast known as a demon eater. And uh, you fear that other more powerful creatures like this may appear after the first wave of lower ranked demons? The research team is uh, frantically looking for any knowledge on how to protect against these otherworldly scourges. A particularly interesting discovery was the news that a notable occult pra practitioner, who called himself Master Aether, uh, was known among certain circles to have maintained a shrine up in these mountains. Your occult experts are anxious to explore this location. Cult expert, so you say no, yeah? She's the only one. Ah, <sighs> come on, it's a small, small camp, no, yeah? We know it's you. Where is it? Southeast. Okay, am I dying now? Oh, a trader. Well, that's completely irrelevant. I'm broke. There's nothing I can buy. Yeah, forget about it. Huh. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, see you later, trader. Copper. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. So, I have enough food. It's actually not terrible that people die. Especially if uh, uh, less useful people die. Because, hey. Uh, you don't have to be concerned that much about uh, resources anymore. 
I know it sounds pretty grim, but hey. This is the apocalypse. Furnace? I already have a furnace. Uh, that allows me to make bricks, but I didn't care about bricks. So far. I can make it from clay. Uh, can I make them? Oh, it's, it's gotta be crafting, right? What? Mini stones, wood, and clay? How about like minimum six, but maximum ten? <sighs> Some bricks. Stuff. Cooked food can be prepared here. Whoa! Dark clouds cover the night sky. The soft glow of the moon breaches uh, through what little seams and holes it can find. Illuminating with a weak, faint light, barely enough to see. A dark red comet streaks across the sky, coloring it in a dark crimson red color. In what appears to be no less than witchcraft, the moon itself becomes red. Its glow ominous. Demonic howls can be heard in the distance. These bad omens seem to give them unnatural strength. You search for an explanation for the red moon and its effects on the demons. Yeah, let's do it. Let's use some research points. Your survivors discover an ancient manuscript mentioning a blood moon and an old religious ritual used to protect against it. After performing the ritual, the moon returns to its normal pale self and the demonic uh, howls immediately begin to wane. Things are back to normal. Uh, the strange phenomenon must have had real mysti mystical properties. In some dark corners around your colony you find some strange occult resources that are commonly left behind after vanquishing demons. Okay, that's cool. So, it's a good idea to have some uh, uh, magic points lying around, just in case you need it. Uh, at least that's my takeaway, at least for now. Okay, we can definitely go on some kind of a, a mission. Gather some resources. Uh, yeah, we have that team. That looks fine to me. Mm, auto resolve. Whoa, what the hell? <sighs> Just some water? Is it really worth the risk? Should I not auto resolve these fights? I don't particularly care for the fighting bit. I would love to use the auto resolve. But the game really should try to not make me feel bad for using it. At least not one character took all the damage. I called it a step forward. Some food that could be nice. So ultimately, we need to uh, search southeast. Wait a second. How much? Uh, how many hides I have back home? Can I make? No, I can't make a leather vest. If I can have the have some more hides. That I could make better armor, which in turn will make me take less damage. Come on, look at this. Minor demons and imps. We can easily take that out, can't we? Fire imps. Just as suddenly as it began, the suffocating feeling is gone. The air feels normal, breathing comes naturally. What was the cause? Perhaps you'll never know. 
Auto resolve. Come on, Marta. This is crazy. Okay, we're just gonna send them back home. This is just this is truly crazy. I don't wanna lose my guys. Alright. Garment. Yeah. Well, I guess we're gonna get research points. Oh, who leveled up? Timmy. I think we're just gonna go for the heal rate on him. So he heals faster, Marta heals faster, everybody heals faster, who's on the front line. And that's about it. And we just go on a mission, I auto-resolve it. Wait a second, oh yeah, he's tired. Don't I have a stove already? It doesn't look like it. I gotta make one. Also, training area. Don't have that either. Do I make one? Do I care? I don't know. Oh yeah, some sheep farms. That would be nice. But how do you do this? It's not gonna fit perfectly here. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I need more boards and bricks. Probably it's not the one I should start with. Just put one over there. As far as I know, sheeps only produce wool, so we might need a might not need a lot of that. Actually we are healed back up. That's insane. Anyway, uh, this is a good time to take breaks, so thanks for watching guys, and see you next time.